always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the top Absolutely beautiful pooing all down my leg Join me in my journey to catch my £20 carp and a £20 catfish. This is my 2020 vision. Just it's in uh, 2022. Good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today I've got a session at Partridge Lakes and I am on Holbar Lake. So I was supposed to be here early this morning. Um, I went out to a party last night, family party. Didn't get in till two in the morning. Uh, woke up this morning and it was one degree. And I thought, no, nah, I'm not gonna go out fishing. So as the morning got on, Went back to sleep, woke up, half past 10, it's gone up to seven degrees, so I thought I may as well come out, even if it's just half a day, I've already paid for it. So I'm here, managed to get peg 12 on the island, uh, and I normally do quite well on this peg. So I'll show you where I'm casted to. Um, it's now just after 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm not even sure what time the fishery closes. I think I'll be finished fishing till about half five, half five, six o'clock. So half a day. See how I get on. Hopefully I'll get bending the rod, get a couple of carp. The fish go up to 23 pound, 24 pound in here. Um, so there is a chance of a 20. Considering that it was really cold overnight, the water's not warm at all. So I'm not expecting loads of fish but i've always got the chance of getting a 20 so keep on watching and uh hopefully i'll bring you some fish so on pig 12 both my rods are out and my left hand rod is just off this branch here so that's the one that i've got on fake sweet corn popped up with a couple of maggots and I've got that on the method feeder with the usual mix in. And I've just, just sprinkled some maggots over the spot and a bit of sweet corn. And then um, my right hand rod is up to the right hand side of this tree there. There's a little tiny divot in the bank and that's where I'm aiming for. So just to the right of that tree. So usually when I get it within a foot of the bank side, um, it's productive. So yeah, that's where I'm at today. Peg 12. It was really cold this morning, it was like one degree. So I stayed at home. But it's now just after 11 o'clock. It's up to about eight degrees. So hopefully the, wa the water's warmed up. There's nothing being caught by anybody this morning. But fingers crossed. We get a couple of fish.
so my rods have been in about 20 minutes. My left hand rod's gone, under against the tree, and I've got a small roach. And then my right hand rod's gone, and I've got this nice mirror carp, just over five pounds, up against the far bank. So hopefully there's plenty more to come. I've put my rod back out there now, fired some pellets over the top, and hopefully it won't be long before I get another one. Cracking start. The wind has really picked up. It's not that cold, I'd say it's about 10 degrees, but with the wind blowing, it is really, really cold. So I am in the bivvy, trying to get a shelter. And if you come outside, it's just really cold. Really, really cold and windy. It's hacking straight down the lake and it's all the cold air off the water and it's coming all the way down into my swim. So I'm in my bivvy, my makeshift shelter. It's a windbreak. Get some warmth. After those first two bites this morning, it's gone dead. So, and a couple of knocks on both one, both rods. But, uh, no more fish. I've got my rod right up against, right up against there. Probably about six inches off the bank. I've just fired some eight mil pellets over the top. So it's in the prime position. Yeah, my left hand rod's still still just off this off this plant, off the tree there. So my rods are in the perfect spot. And uh, the sun's gone in. Looks like it's gonna be in for a bit. And it's cold. But, uh, fingers crossed. It's not the only fish that we see today. Well, I'll just reel my rods in. So, I thought I'll take the opportunity and show you what I'm using. So, on my far rod, which is the right hand rod, I'm using my standard method feeder, which is a 24 gram. And on there, which is dropping all over me, I've got my special mix. And that consists of the Bait Tech Poloni mix. I've also got some krill liquid mixed in there with sweet corn and chili hemp and I've also got some two mil pellets. So I've mixed all those in there to the consistency so it binds to the method feeder. And then within there I've got a small 11 pound hook length and on there I have got my usual eight mil cell pellet. So that's banded on there and it's a size 10 hook. So that's what I'm using on my right hand rod which is over to the far bank and on the left hand rod which I've got underneath the tree I'm trying something completely different today. So you've probably seen this when I fished on the res. Um, I'm still using my 24 gram method feeder with the uh, Poloni mix on it rather than a, than a uh, maggot feeder but on my hook length I am using a size 12 hook and on there I have got the pop-up sweet corn come on focus pop-up sweet corn on there and then two maggots I've got a red and a white for my OCD so I've got that on my left hand rod under the tree what it does is it pops up about that far off the ground so if there's any debris from the tree like leaves and sticks etc it should pop up above above it so I'm going to try that today so that's on my left hand rod I've got a usual method on the right hand rod and we'll have a see today see the comparison between them and see which one's most productive
it's now quarter past two and it's been an absolute struggle. Had a few runs, not been able to hook anything. The left hand rod's gone again. It's under the tree and I've got a beast of a roach. Probably the biggest roach I've ever caught. So it's about two pounds. Obviously it's not what I'm after, but uh, a bit of excitement for a minute. So yeah, I'm gonna put it back now. Get my rod back under the tree and uh, Hopefully the carp come along, but uh, it's really cold, hiding in my bivvy and praying for another carp. two minutes later same rod's gone again and just when I thought the roach was really slimy I've got an absolutely oh, slime it's just slimed in my face I've got an absolutely minging bream possibly the worst fish can ever catch absolutely minging but yeah it absolutely whizzed off thought it was a carp but it's a minging bream disgusting well after those two silvers the swim went dead again I didn't really mind because I enjoy being on the bank watching the wildlife but then it was all ruined because my girlfriend turned up and ruined the piece Well, it's taken literally all day and it's now quarter past five. Left hand rod's gone that had the fake sweet corn. Keep still. Keep still. Still lively. And I've got this lovely mirror carp. So just under eight pounds. It's not the double that I wanted. It's definitely not a 20. But it's been so hard today. I've not seen anybody else on the island catch. So, yeah, pop it chuffed. Put it back now. My rod's back out. I'm going to start and pack up now because I think there's about an hour's left worth of fishing. And uh, hopefully, I'll get one more. Julia's taking pictures. <laughs> Well, it really has been a struggle today. From when it was one degree this morning, when I, at about 8 a.m., all the way through to now, I think it's been a high of about eight or nine. Um, but the wind chill factor has been absolutely shocking. Um, I feel fortunate to catch what I've caught today. A lot of people have not even had a bite uh, on whole bar, which is unheard of. Um, it, and the fish that are coming out are absolutely freezing so it just shows that even though the temperatures are getting up a bit the water is still absolutely freezing from what I've seen on YouTube 
and on social media everyone's the same there's odd people having the odd fish um, some people having some cracking sessions where they find a pocket of them but in the rest of the lake it's been dead so it just shows that the weather's just not not warming the water up enough yet so um, yeah come to a runs water and still struggle to get runs um, I've got some of my specie gear sorted um, I've bought a uh, trench bed chair so I've not tried it in this bivy yet so I'm hoping it fits um, I'll have to have a trial in my back garden with it um, so these bivy cams what I'm doing now looks like it might be a thing um, going into the future uh, I've yet to get any uh, camping equipment I'm looking to get a gas stove uh, and then I'm looking at the Ridge Monkey pans um, I'm not sure which one to get there's one with with about three segments that I quite like or get a small toasting one um, if anybody can recommend any pans gas stoves um, it's all new to me but I need to get those before I can get out on the bank I'm looking to get out probably it's beginning of April now so I've got a feeling around May hopefully um, once the weather picks up I'll try and get some specie sessions done, get some overnighters and try and get some bigger fish on the bank but today was a bonus session, I wasn't going to come out, I've ended up coming out for the afternoon, managed to get a couple of carp, um, there's about probably about half an hour, 40 minutes left, um, hopefully I'll get one more carp to do my outro but if not, apologies it's been a short video, it's been a bit all over the place. Um, but that's fishing for you um, it's just a real struggle at the moment so yeah hopefully I'll see you another fish but if not then uh, thanks for watching Well, that was a drop back on my right hand rod. Just got the pellets. It feels like feels like a carp. It's definitely not a bream. Yep, it's another carp. Packing up in my gear, and this is a welcome bonus. Come on, and it's in. So, a welcome bonus, a nice mirror to finish. Well, this is an unexpected bonus. Just packing up. I was just thinking I've caught more on the fake sweet corn than what I have on my go to 8mm pellet. And the right hand rod's gone, which has got the cell pellet up against the far margin. And I've got this absolutely stunning mirror carp. Five and a half pounds. It's not the biggest fish of the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. But. I'd say it's the most stunning one of the day. Look at the scale pattern. Absolutely stunning. So, yeah, unexpected bonus. I'm just in the middle of packing up now. So I'm gonna put this one back because it's really lively and uh, continue packing up. And the next carp, if I get one on either rod, will determine which has been the best bait of the day. But after this morning, this afternoon's definitely made up for it. And it's one more carp. Well, I'll make a prediction now. That right hand rod. I'm taking my rod pod down and I've just managed to get it literally touching this here, this bank here. It's absolutely touching it. Normally it's a dead cert, so I've got a feeling 
that rod is definitely going to go before I pack up. But, uh, getting the rods down now on the deck, start packing up. I've probably got about 20 minutes left before I want to pack up. I don't want to leave it last minute like normal, so I'm going to get it down. But I've got a feeling that pellet rod up against there is going to go any minute. And the fish are finally jumping. Finally jumping. All day waited. And they finally woke up. Typical. Every time I get it right on the edge, right on the edge of the reeds. It feels like another carp. And there's a fish just come up just here, right on the edge. So they're definitely patrolling the margins, getting the last bit of ground bait that people chuck in. Come on, head up. Yeah, it's only probably just over five pounds. it looks like pellets the winner well I called it as soon as I knew where that cast went right up touching the reeds I just knew that it was gonna go and literally within three minutes it's gone and a common carp so exactly six pounds this is definitely the last fish of the session unless the other rod goes in the near side margin which I yeah I doubt it it's seven o'clock now Fishery closes at eight, so I'm gonna continue packing down. So, yeah, this is it. Slow start. After that fish, there's been nothing all day after that initial carp and roach. But this afternoon, it's definitely picked up. And for my first session on Holbar, in these wintry conditions, I've really enjoyed it. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you like to leave any comments in the comment section I'd really appreciate it subscribe if you want to see more of my content if you don't want to I totally understand I just enjoy people commenting and watching my videos and uh, I'll see you soon thanks for watching